Hi Virgo, how are you? If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Michelle, and this is your weekly reading. Before I start, I want to remind you guys that my readings have no date. They are divinely guided. Everything has free will, and not everything is going to resonate with everybody. Please keep in mind that the roles could be reversed between you and your person. And with that said, let's dive in. And again, these are so general, not personal. So without further ado, let's dive in. Let's see what's going on between Virgo. Let's see what is going to happen to Virgo. So we got the Five of Swords. I feel like there's going to be a unexpected um, communication or unexpected actions towards you. This could be with an air sign. This could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Thank you so much. My son just stole my water. Then we got the Hangman. This could be um, Taurus energy, to be honest. I have also heard Gemini. With the Five of Cups right here, this uh, in reverse, we got Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So we also have a water sign um, in the reading, of course. Let's see. We have the Devil in reverse, Capricorn energy, the Tower, Scorpio energy. We have the Hermit here with the... Uh, um, <clears throat> we got the hermit this is Taurus energy and then the queen of cups as an overall energy right here so like i said before there's going to be a very unexpected action towards you i feel like this person that broke your heart um that perhaps you haven't seen or heard from in a while is going to reach out to you that's why it's so unexpected because you never thought like that you were going to hear from this specific person this could also be a friend. Others of you, not necessarily about love. This could have been a best friend or a friend that you guys have matching bracelets. That's what I'm seeing here. Or somebody that gifted you a bracelet. Or if it's the other way around, like I said, this could be gen this is genderless. It could be the other way around. Somebody that you gifted a bracelet. Um, this is the person who's going to be reaching out to you. We have the toxic, toxic card with the devil card and the Scorpio energy with the tower. So this person's toxicity caught up to them. This is the consequences of their actions. And he feels that after whatever happened to them, I feel like it was very strongly difficult for them to overcome. I feel like, again, toxicity or the devil here, this could have been some sort of addiction such as alcohol, drugs, anything, sex. And all of you, this could have been like the lack of commitment, you know? It actually caught up to them and got them in very, very horrible troubles here. Uh, this person got quiet and went into the hermit mode, which is hiding, ghosting or so, because, again, they were embarrassed or whatever has been happening or was happening in their life. But <clears throat> on the meantime, you actually decided to work on yourself and you also put yourself out there and started, like, dating other people. Perhaps you have a new, a new partner or others of you just, like, you know, living life the fullest, you know? let's see let's see let's see why is this person wanting to come back why is this person wanting to come back right now to very close life let's see thank you spirit we got the three of pentacles in reverse taurus very good capricorn um the ten of cups again the water energy we got the page of pentacles right here again your energy here we have the emperor this is eric's energy we got the hero fund. This is Taurus energy. We got the Ace of Swords. Um, again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and overall energy. We got the Death card, Scorpio energy, and on the bottom here, we got the Moon, Pisces energy. So this person's um, action caught up to them. I feel like they were dating somebody else, and they actually were cheating on that somebody else with somebody else, and um, it got in a lot of trouble. I feel like this got an entanglement. Somebody, not for all of you, but somebody got the sneaky link pregnant and that caused a lot of issues a lot of problems because they were on a after they let you know broke your heart or so they were on a serious relationship with somebody else and they were not faithful to that somebody else causing a lot of issues causing an entanglement causing the consequences of their own actions here uh, they have a legal issue here they're actually involved in legal dispute here because again this like a paternity situation here child support if you want to call it and also this could be also about like divisions of like whatever they had with a specific person again i see legal situation or legal disputes here and they're not having fun they're actually wasting a lot of money and there's a big chance that they don't win that case 
um, we got the Emperor energy and the Hero Fun right here. Now they feel lost, right? And they actually said like, "Oh, look at Virgo. Let me just go back to Virgo because this person that loved me, or this person and I had something important or something intense, you know." So keep in mind that this person, even though that the Aries energy could be this and that, my intuition is telling me that they're actually coming back for the wrong reasons, which is the wrong reasons for you. Uh, it's their own interest, their own their own um, benefit, you know. With the Ace of Swords right here, keep in mind that there is hidden truths and hidden intentions with this specific action and this specific communication. If you see here, oh my goodness, if you see here, this sword right here, I don't know if you can see it, has like a little triangle that has the eye. You have to keep in mind that this is telling you that you need to use your third eye. You cannot believe everything they say because everybody can't say n nice things and good things when they want to you know right here it's telling you right here that this person is toxic this person is not good enough not not good enough or good at all right now that you're blooming and you have to bloom after whatever they did to you they want to come in but their intentions are not honest we got the moon card here this represents a lot of lies a lot of like things been hidden from you a lot of things not being told they're not telling you the real reason or the real version of things and they also could be telling you half truths so you have to be very intuitive because not everything that shines equals gold with the six of pentacles right here listen to your friends and family when they tell you to stay away from this person if somebody is telling you to do not take them back or do not listen to them please listen to them because sometimes you're not seeing things the way they should because you get involved in your emotions and feelings and with the nine of swords right here do not feel guilty if you don't want to talk to this person or if you push them away with the ace of cups right here keep in mind that this person is struggling and they're just looking for a getaway or an exit and right now you are the nearest exit they have so in other in other words they want to use you but we're not gonna let them i promise you that what are the real intentions with virgo Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Wands, the Ace of Swords. Look at this. Ten of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and the Ten of and the Ace of Swords in reverse, telling you that they don't really mean what they say. They don't want. They don't want to make it up to you. They don't want to work in, in you guys. They don't miss you. Miss you. They're just doing that because right now they're actually drowning in their own in their own consequence. They're drowning on their own problems. So right now they're carrying a lot of weight, carrying a lot of issues. And right now they don't see clear and they feel like they're alone. They feel like they have nobody but you. You got to keep in mind that they don't mean it. They're not being honest when they tell you that they miss you or that they want to work on this. And I know this is not the reading that people want. This is not the reading that is going to give me views, but I'm here to give you the message how it is. And this is what it is. It's telling you right here to not be blinded by what they say. They're hoping that you believe and swallow every single thing they say and or other things. But at the moment, it's that they want you to believe everything they say. Keep in mind that they're not telling you the truth and you should not trust them blindly. They see you as somebody gullible. They see you as somebody vulnerable. They feel like you're going to believe everything they say. Again, lies, lies, lies. The moon card they're not being honest they're lying to you about everything the four of cups they do not want to work on this they do not have true feelings for you they could like you yes they could have sexual attraction to you because that has nothing to do with love but pure love and pure intentions they do not have it they do not possess it they just are giving you what you want or what they think you want just because they need either or somewhere to stay somewhere to be money whatever it is they need is uh their own benefit it's gonna just beneficial them right now you have to be the page of swords and the high priestess here which is pisces energy and again libra gemini aquarius right here you have to use your intuition and play your cards the best way you can if this is the game for them make sure that if you're playing to make sure to be the winner because they are not actually being honest with you it's unfair that they want to come back around now with this kind of intentions and it's unfair the way they're seeing you the, the way they're viewing you you listen to your intuition listen to your intuition and your ancestors when they tell you that your intuition is required you you have to be very aware and you need to play your cards properly otherwise you're gonna lose new beginning in reverse right here this is the full aries energy this person has multiple faces if you if i move this card you can see a, a face right meaning that they will actually they are look like what they say in puerto rico dos cara 
una persona que dos cara, which is somebody who has two faces. They will tell you one thing, like they could look in your eyes and be like, I love you, I'm sorry, da, da, da. and then the minute you're gone or the minute they're out the door, they're gonna be like, ah, okay. So they can lie easily, they can actually promise you the world easily when they don't mean it. They're a trickster, a shapeshifter, if you wanna call it. The Five of Swords right here. Keep in mind that this game that they want to play is not fair. This is a it, this is a scam, okay? What they're trying to pull off is a scam. It's just lying to you to get something from you, and then they're gonna leave you just like that. But keep in mind that you should not show your cards right away because this person is your opponent, even though that they're gonna show up as a ally, right? They're an opponent, and they should be treated as such. Justice right here, Libra energy right here. You need to do what's best for you and you need to ask at least for a give and take situation. You need to use your intuition to make a strong and difficult decision. I know that it's hard to believe this. I know it's hard to hear this. I know it's hard to push away somebody that you can love or care for, but unfortunately, it's not the best for you. This person is not good for you. They're not the one because they wanna use you and you have to be very intuitive and you have to use your instincts and i know you have them to see them for who they really are their intentions are not truthful and you need to be the justice card and even if you avoid it and you give them a chance at the end of the day everything's gonna come to light and you're gonna listen and hear for the harsh truth The Ace of Cups in reverse and then the Nine of Swords in reverse. Telling you right here that I know it seems to be that you still have some sort of feelings for this person and that you still wonder what if, but you should not. You should not go back to where you left or where you came for from, I'm sorry, because they are not going to fulfill your cup. They're going to drain your cup dry and you are going to have to live with a second heartbreak. seven of cups in the reverse this person is a snake they don't mean well there's no point to give this person a chance because it's not even a good future for this person and you there's no future actually because they're gonna leave they're just using you they're using you when they need you and then they're gonna leave because they feel you are accessible do not let them get to you do not be the access they need to succeed because you are a person you're not a thing to be used you know queen of swords and the six of cups need to be the queen of swords i know it sounds cold it sounds like hard like cold hearted or whatever this person is not your soulmate it sounds like a soulmate but this is like a fake soulmate it's not even a karmatic one yeah it could be a karmatic one let's call it something but it's most likely a fake soulmate somebody that's like showing you everything because it feels like a soulmate because of the intensity it feels like a soulmate because of the attraction and everything that you feel but let me tell you that this is a fake soulmate slash karmatic soulmate it's just for a lesson and why are they coming back you go like well if they're not for me why are they coming back because you are being tested you are being tested because you if you click on this video you need to hear this and you need to hear this for a reason and the universe is preparing you for this challenge this test if you fail or pass of course it's in your hands but if whatever happens doesn't pay off keep in mind that you were warned and you were told to not take them and not only by me perhaps other tarot readers and perhaps friends or family that are telling you to not take this person back this person is not your soulmate and this person is not the one for you you need to cut the cord and just push them out of your life Talk to friends and family. Talk about it with friends and family. Join something and talk to it because I feel like you're struggling and you don't need to struggle because like, there's no need to talk about it. There's no need to the judgment card, by the way. There's nothing surprising about this. There's not even, it's, there's nothing surprising about this. You know what they, what they give, you know how they are. And right now, you know that it's very fishy, very weird that they are coming back after you find out what's going on in their life. You're going to be like, oh, is it, is it that? Yes, it's that. They're not coming back because they love you. Because if they wanted they wanted to, they would have a long time ago. They're just coming back because they need something from you. And that's it. Don't let them play you like a board game, baby. Is it worth taking this person back? 
I know some of you guys ten of cups. Three of pentacles right here. It's not worth taking back. They're not going to fulfill you. They're not your happiness. They're not your happy ever after. They're not your person. No, it's not worth taking them back. Look, the minute you give them a chance, you're going to get cheated on. You're going to get cheated on. Cheated on. Again or for the first time. Don't take this person, this person back. Don't take this person back. What is the best advice for Virgo right now? Your soulmate is in the way. Your soulmate's uh, initial seems to be J, like Jorge or Jason or George. Oh, no, no, Jorge, Jason or, or Jim, Jamie, <laughs> Jessica. <laughs> um, not necessarily, but for some of you, your person, your soulmate is on the way. They're not here just yet. They're coming in slowly and quietly. This person is coming in. This could have a different descent. They could have a different culture, by the way. This person could have a native in their blood, in their lineage, you know, just so you know. But coming into the reading is telling you that this person's coming in. They're not here just yet. And this person is the strong foundation you need. This person is solid. This person is not a liar. This person is actually pretty, pretty um, honest. So they're actually asking you to keep up with your life. Do not take the person from the past back and wait for the person that's coming in in the future. It seems to be that you are going to meet this person in the summertime very soon. And it could be uh, on the beach or in the camping or a lake or something, but... This person is coming in this um, summer, and I also see number three and six being important for some of you. They want you to be uh, the skull right here, the death card, because the past should be the past, and they want you to not touch the past. It's like when you go to a graveyard, do not uncover the dead bodies. You know what I'm saying? This person, this connection should be buried on the on the freaking bunch, a bunch of earth, a bunch of freaking mud. Like, do not uncover whatever you think it is worth working for in the past this person is not worth working for is extra work is dirty it's not fair and do not touch the past let them be and move forward because your person your soulmate the person you're going to be marrying is in the future and you're going to meet this person in the summertime like i said before with hermit right here um taurus energy right now they want you to stop hiding the reality do not excuse this person for what they did. Do not excuse them just because you want them in your life. Once again, it is not time for you to uncover the past and hide the fact that they did you wrong. It's time for you to let go of the past. Do not hold back anymore. Delete every single picture you have from the past person. Delete everything you have from the past person. Block their number if you want to. Stop hiding. And stop um, excusing them. And please move forward because what is in the future it looks more better or way better than the past and more promising the future four of cups do not waste your time on somebody who does not want you for real this person does not see your worth the past person doesn't see your worth your past person does not deserve you so please do not waste your emotions on somebody else because look at this you can have everything you wanted you can have everything you want in, in life and you are hesitating. Do not hesitate with the past. Let them be. They don't deserve you. Be the emperor here, Aries energy. Be Make a promise. Make a pact. Uh, keep your word. If you said to not take the past, do not take the past. Have tunnel vision. Look forward. Be strong. Have your um, empire. Have your throne. Have your foundation. And wait for what's the best for you which is the future person i see jay again you see that a pisces seems to be a pisces energy here this is a soulmate connection you see your soulmate is coming towards you it is not the past it's somebody completely new and at the bottom right here is coming undetected so it's going to happen unexpectedly this person and you are going to click and it's going to help you lift those um extra packages and that weight and that heartbreak that the past cost do not involve yourself with the past once again do not let the past drag you back to to a dark place you're blooming and you have with the 
king of pentacles right here you have the chance towards the capricorn this is you to bloom and to find somebody that matches your energies to find somebody who is worthy and deserving of your love time and care once again this future person is everything you ever wanted in a connection is your your soulmate is your twin so it's a couple months it's not that much so please be aware that the past does not serve you listen to the cards listen to this reading and please hold on a little bit and wait for the future person because they're coming in they're coming in and trust me it's gonna be worth the wait before i go babes i'm gonna give you um let me give you some initials from the past person let's see let's see can you give me the past person's initial so they know who this person is please and thank you we have n as a no we have a taurus here thank you spirit we have a capricorn we got single and reverse so it's not they're not single even though they say they're single cancer and pisces let's see what initials we have f as in frank o g as in george bsm boy aquarius right here and w s and william and two more please and thank you two more thank you so much cs and cat gs and jason i s n ian and e s and edwin and d s and dog and let's see who is the initials of the new person for others of you you know for most of you x we have a gemini we have a taurus we got capricorn we got K, we got Y, as in yes, Aquarius right here. We got G, as in George, nickname O, as in one, Victor, V, as in Victor. Um, G, as in Jason, E, as in Edwin, I, as in Ian. Leo, Q, name, S, as in Sam, and at the bottom here, Scorpio, Aries, N, and H. Again, keep in mind that people have multiple multiple play, uh, multiple zodiac signs in their chart so that's why we will get multiple and again keep that in mind and let me just give you your angels message real quick my wig bro so we have life life changing epiphany or experience it is it's a time of big and blessed change for you, and God is supporting you each step of the way. And let's see your ancestors' um, message for you. Let's see. Okay. Two, two or three cards, please, and thank you, Spirit. Thank you so much, Spirit. So we have... This one here, it says, respect your physical body, detox, rejuvenate, and relax. Then remember who you are, culture, resilience, beliefs. And then connect with animals. It says, animal spirit guides, healing past pets. And at the bottom here, we have shine brightly, stand out, be proud, individuality. So those are the messages for you. Thank you so much, guys, for your time. Please like and subscribe. Please be safe and take care of your energies. Do not fall with this past person. Again, nothing that is not serving you is good for you. So once again, let go of the past. Again, thank you so very much for your time. Please like and subscribe. I'll be back this week with more readings. And also before I leave, I want to tell you guys that I have a membership. The membership is only $1.99. Those perks are, the perks of this membership is like you have a batch next to your name. Every month, that batch will update. Also, you have... Uh, very exclusive emojis that you can use every time you comment on my lives and or videos those emojis were created by me also every time you comment on my videos and or lives your comments are highlighted and treated as a priority and again it'll support my channel so thank you so much for those who have uh, thank you so much for your time once again and i also have a um donation based live on this saturday so you want to pop in again thank you so much and you guys have a blessed night bye